Hi, my name is Kim. Um, I teach middle school technology, grades 6, 7th, and 8th, so basically computer science. And I am going to show you how I go about teaching the micro bit because I'm going to put a lot of these resources in there for you so that you know how, exactly how to do this. Um, I think the, the most difficult thing with it is people get confused as to exactly what it is. It's For some reason, it's very intimidating to people. Um, so I'm going to show you how I go about teaching this to my classes and hopefully give you a better understanding of how this works. Um, so I am going to use this presentation right here to show you exactly how I teach it and go through the lesson as if you were a student. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in slideshow. Okay, so this right here is the introduction to the micro bit. So what is the micro bit? And if you can kind of see... On my screen, this right here is the micro bit. It is a pocket sized programmable computer used to teach computer science. It contains 25 red LED lights, two programmable buttons, an accelerometer that can detect motion, built in compass, and low energy Bluetooth. Okay, so a little bit about the parts. Um, so obviously, this right here is your 25 red LED lights. You have your two programmable buttons. Um, right here is your processor. They have added a speaker right here to it. You have an antenna. Uh, I guess it's a microphone. And then, you know, this kind of where you plug everything in, your battery and power and stuff like that. Okay, so I don't take the time because the micro bit is a computer. Um, it's, a, it's a mini computer. It's a cheap computer, but it only holds one program, but it is a computer. So I don't take the time to go through all the parts of the computer. This brain pop, it, I'm not going to play it, but it goes really well with this and just all what hardware and software is and all the parts of the computer that you can show to your class. So right here, these are just some basic coding terms that, terms that you can um, use with, that, that have to do with coding. So the first one, um, the biggest thing that I want my students to know, one of the main terms is bug and debugging. So obviously a bug's an error in a set of instructions. Um, it kind of keeps it from working the way that it should. However, the process of finding that error is called debugging. I also go over the terms uh, computational thinking with my class, which it is kind of a wordy definition, but simply put, it is breaking um, a problem down to manageable parts. And there is, if you have brain pop, there is a brain pop on computational thinking if you wanted to ever show that one. And then here's just a visual of what computational thinking is. Um, so then after you go through all of that, you can pretty much say, okay, so the micro bits piece of hardware. Um, you use it to make software or code. Um, and you use algorithms to tell the computer or the hardware what to do. So the algorithm is basically, it's a set of instructions. It's like a recipe for cooking. It's the same thing. It gives you the step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, so now here is the activity for the micro bit. What you are going to do is you are going to go to uh, micro bit. Uh, basically, it's micro bit make code editor. So I'm going to go ahead and try and show both of these. Um, and I will say something I do like about the micro bit is you can do a block editor, you can do JavaScript or Python um, for those students that want to challenge themselves. So this right here is the make code editor. And then what I have them do is a simple happy sad face activity because the biggest thing is um, students have a really hard time at least my students do, downloading the program to their computer and then getting that program to their device. So that that is, for some reason, that is just like the biggest hurdle. So the first program I do is only like four lines of code. So you go to the Microsoft Make Code Editor 
And then what I had them do, and I'm not going to go through this um, real slow. I'm going to hit new project and I'm going to, I have my classes call it happy, sad. And what I have them do is just do this real simple activity. I have them get rid of the on start and the forever blocks. And then what they do, uh, mainly you're going to go to input and make two of these. Uh, and then I have them just put the LED lights in there. I tell them if you want to, I mean, obviously you can do the show icon if you wanted, or you could do a string and add some text. But I have them do the happy sad. And again, the main purpose with this is to just teach them how to download it. So right here is the little emulator. So if you want to test your program, you can. Otherwise, I'm going to zoom out of this hair. I am going to hit download. It's hard to see on my screen. All right, download. And then what happens is this is what really gets students confused. Um, they don't understand. They, they, they hit download and they go, okay, well, I'm going to click on this. No, it, it's not going to open it because it can't open the file. The file is a .hex file. It's a coding file. They can't do that. So what you have to do is if you can see on my screen, take your micro bit and your USB. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and put this into my computer, okay? You also have a battery pack, uh, but you will not need the battery pack right now. Okay, so that's plugged in. I am going to go to the bottom, which is a file explorer, and open this little window. And then what I tell students is, um, you know, I, I have them, I ask them, where, where did you download this? And they can usually say downloads. And then they try and open it again, and it doesn't work. Because the main thing that they don't understand is, right now, all your computer is doing is acting as a power source for the micro bit. It's really not doing anything but powering that. Um, the program's on your computer, but you're trying to get it to the micro bit. So I'm going to take my micro bit file, so in my downloads, and drag that right here to the micro bit. Of course, it's not responding. All right, let's try it. There it goes. All right, so download, and it, when that is complete, um, it should be good to go. So then what you can do, and I tell them, like, obviously, so now that it's downloaded, uh, you have it on the micro bit. Okay, so you have it right here on the micro bit. And if I wanted, I'm actually going to take this off. So if I hit the A button, you'll see it does the happy set. Now I tell them, again, your computer's a power source. So if you really wanted to take it off of there, you could plug this in and then test the program that way. Uh, but it is very simple to do that. So I'm going to skip through this because I have on here. Um, the entire activity so that you can go through that with your classes and it should have everything you need. Uh, but if you wanted to do more with it, you can always go right here to the micro bit. Um, it's micro bit make code. And they have a lot of activities that you can do. And really within the micro bit make code, like even on their main website, they have a lot of different activities that you can do with it as well. So you can check that too, because there's a lot um, that they have for it. If my computer ever loads. So you can kind of look through it 
and there's a ton of activities. Um, I will say this really quick. I did put a little note right here. Um, the one thing I found is the best place as at the moment to purchase this would be Spark Fun. Um, I know there was a lot of shortages with the micro or with just anything that had a chip on it. So micro bit, um, Spark Fun has the micro bit and they will let you back order, which others would not. So like I have back ordered this before. Um, and again, I put that link right down here at the bottom for you, but you definitely want the Go Bundle. It has the battery pack, the USB batteries, just basically anything you need to get started. It has that for you. Um, right now, I think, and really the, the prices don't fluctuate on these. Um, they have a large like pack of these that you can purchase this go bundle club for 180 bucks. I don't remember what shipping or tax was, but, um, you can back order these again and it will just show up. So I do like that. Cause if you look on Amazon, these are like 30 bucks a pop right now. So, um, hopefully that helps you teach the micro bit with your classes. And if you have any questions, um, you can always kind of, uh, shoot me, shoot me a message or something.